Kwai Club Online Macaron Keychain. Hi everyone! Today you're going to make a macaron keychain like the one here. Before you start, you're going to need to cover your workspace with a paper towel or newspapers or something. In your kits, you'll find some makeup sponges, a couple of keychain findings, and some silicone cream. And you'll need scissors to complete this. All right, to begin, you're going to want to start with your makeup sponges. Each one will be half of the macaron cookie, like that. You're going to start uh, by carefully cutting off the tip. And then we're going to use your scissors to shape from there. It doesn't have to be completely straight or even because the edges of the cookie aren't. I find it easiest to um, work from the outside in and till I get it to about the size that I want and the shape that I want. And I'm just trimming big pieces first to get it to be the size that I'm looking for because the makeup sponge is a little thicker than what a cookie would be. And if you've seen macarons, they're kind of dome shaped and they have a little bit of a scalloped edge to them where they are sandwiched together. So once I get it to about the right size, I'm going to start just kind of trimming a gently small bits along the edges to make it a little bit of a scalloped edge. And if I trim and too much, the middle will be kind of raised and I'll have to get that down, but that's okay. There we go. You can see how the middle's a little raised there. But that's about the size that I want. So now I'm going to do the same for the other half. Because a macaron is basically a sandwich cookie. If you ever get to taste them, they're delicious. They're, um, I think H-E-B H -E makes them in their bakery section occasionally. Um, you can also find them in other bakery sections. They're made with almond flour and uh, almond cream in the real, the real thing. <laughs> um, but today we're just making fake ones. Uh, be sure to keep the silicone cream away from Little ones that might think that it's actually food. It's not. It's not edible. edible. Keep trimming here. See the middle got a little raised. See, I kind of want a little bit of a scalloped edge like that. That's good. Trim some more on this one. And I gave you enough materials to make two. Uh, in your kits, you'll also have um, some um, icing tips if you want to use that with your um, silicone. See, it's a little raised on this one, so I'm going to lower that in a bit. Make it a little flatter. All right, let's see if that, that's a, that's pretty good. Shrink this one a little bit so I have room for my silicone. Okay, open my silicone here. And basically, I'm not using a, a piping tip here, but you can add it to the edge and if you want it to look fancy. But I'm just going to spread an even amount as if I was icing the middle of a cookie. Your colors may differ because I got variety packs of the silicone and the makeup sponges, so you'll have different colors. All 
Let me put my silicone back on. Cap, there we go. So now I'm going to gently sandwich it together. Try not to squish it too much. And then I'm just going to use the little tip of my keychain, the little bolt there the, with the eye pin, and stick it in the silicone where it's still wet. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. It'll probably take at least a day to completely dry. Once it's dry, it should be set in the silicone and you shouldn't have to worry about it. But uh, oh, see, I'm getting some in my fingers. Just wipe it off and then wash your hands really well. Just set it aside here to dry and you can make another one if you wish. I hope you enjoy the craft today. Bye, friends.